Hi, I'm Ana Jance Valerio, your English teacher from Profe en Casa. As you see, I'm packing because I'm taking a trip. Would you like to travel abroad? An exciting experience like this requires learning about a lot of concepts and processes which are important for us to understand. And this is what we will do today. Learn the vocabulary and necessary phrases for a trip. Come along. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Karen. Hi, friends. Hi, teacher. What are you doing? We're checking some places on the internet that we would like to visit when we are in New York. I want to go to the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art. I've always loved museums. Besides, someday I want to be a painter. Oh, nice. I can't wait to see the Statue of Liberty. I've heard it's a gift from France in honor of the United States' independence from Britain. Oh, really? Yes, it's true. And it is actually one of the most emblematic spots in New York. We're going to visit many places like that when we get there. We don't want to miss out on a Broadway musical, do we? No. Do you want to come with me? We'd love to. Good for you. Thanks to the internet, we can do advanced research about the country we visit. We can make plans and get to know many interesting places. We need to plan our trip really well so we can do lots of things there. Yeah, we can take tours and learn about many different places. I want to get some souvenirs for my family. Right now, let's check the hotel rooms and find a flight. But I don't understand. Don't we have to do that with a travel agent? No. Nowadays, we can do all that on the internet. Wow. Look, there are flights to New York and hotels listed too. Yeah, here are the rates and availabilities for the reservations. Everything is faster and easier now. We already booked the flight. Now, let's book the hotel. Well, what kind of accommodations are we looking for? Well, we have several options. We can stay at a motel, a hotel, or a bed and breakfast. What's the difference between a motel and a hotel? At a motel, you stay only one night. You sleep there and then keep on driving. Most motels are usually on highways. Why don't we stay in a bed and breakfast? Mmm, bed and breakfast are not common in New York. We should look for a hotel. Once we get there, we're going to do lots of things. How are we going to get around? By bus? I know, we can rent a car. Mm, it is impractical to rent a car. The best way to get around is on the subway. But there are some things that we have to plan before the trip. Oh, first of all, we'll all need valid passports. I know another one. We will need a visa. Exactly. 
we need to find out if our destination country requires a visa and if the visa that we need is for in transit or for a visit. If we're going to New York, we will need a visa, for sure. It's important when you travel to get vaccinations. That's something else we need to find out, whether our destination country requires vaccinations. For example, yellow fever shots are necessary for many destinations. Oh, do you have to be vaccinated to enter New York? Oh, no, no. For New York, it's not necessary. Another important thing we have to find out before our trip is what kind of currency the country uses. For the United States, we will need dollars. I have never traveled before. What do we do when we get to the airport? An airline official gives you the boarding pass, indicating the time of boarding and our gate to get on the plane. What happens to our luggage? That's very important. Some of our luggage goes inside the cargo compartment of the airplane. We check it in before we get our boarding passes. The other is the bag we carry on. Right now, we cannot have liquids or any dangerous objects in these bags, according to the airport rules. I don't know if I should bring a big suitcase or a small one. That depends on the amount of clothing that you need. For example, if you need to bring winter clothing, which is large and heavy, it is better to bring a large bag. For now, since we're going in the summer and we'll be wearing light clothes, a suitcase will be perfect. I'm excited for flying. My family is tracking the flight number to know when we arrive. Are we going to fly there directly or do we have to change flights? Well, in our case, we have to change flights in Miami. We should expect to wait an hour or more at the airport for our next airplane that will take us to New York. Other passengers will fly to different destinations. How wonderful. I'm excited about takeoffs and landings. We need to check the airline ticket. There we have the seat number and our itinerary. Well, it also shows if it is a round trip ticket like ours. Now remember, check if your passport is up to date. This is very important. Without a valid passport and a visa, there is no trip. Yes, everything's ready. Well, okay then. See you at the airport. Okay. See, Bye. Teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye, teacher. France, your ticket. Oh my God, my ticket. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Together with my students, we have done an excellent review of different phrases we need to use when we travel. Getting the boarding pass. Traveling abroad. Checking places on the internet. Booking a hotel room. Getting a visa. Do you want to go with me? We would love to. Plan our trip. Checking rates and availability. Making reservations. Valid passport. I invite you to visit other Profa and Casa videos and learn about many other topics of interest. See you soon.